ಉಪ್ಪು ಕಾರ is just perfect i love that slight saline sweetness of that prawn mm. i think we've already hit gold with the first dish that i placed in my mouth here idu nange super kaanta ide idu ondu nodi e bai nalli neer bartta ide idu masala fry if you like your fish a little spicy i think my vote goes to that masala fry We're in a tiny by lane of 7th cross Maleshwaram and I was feeling like some Mangalorean cuisine more specifically some seafood uta It's been a while since I visited Mangalore but I'm told that this is tiny eatery here that does the fish and the seafood cuisine of Namma Mangaluru Hi folks this is Kripal Amana Gourmet on the road and you're watching Food Lovers TV I hope you're doing well I hope you're staying safe and strong And that's where we are Karavali lunch home and it says Mangalore style Namaskara ha chanagidira ha sir chanagidira new ravi ha sir nimma eatery idu nimma restaurant 15 years 15 years nimdu uru kundapura kundapura adigoskara i can smell the ಚೆನ್ನಾಗೇ ಪರಿಮಳ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಅದು ಮೀನ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಅದು ಸೊ ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ನೀವೇ ಮಾಡುದಾ ನಾನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಇಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಏನು ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಯೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ರೋಮಾ ದಟ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಕರಿ ಅದು ಮೆಂತೆ ಅದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದು ಪರಿಮಳ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಾಟಿ ಕೋಳಿ ಸರ್ ಓ ನಾಟಿ ಕೋಳಿ ಸೊ ಇದು ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಸಟರ್ಡೆ ಸಂಡೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ವೀಕ್ ಡೇ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಾ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಏನು ಮಸಾಲೆ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪೆಪ್ಪರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗೀ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಉಪ್ಕೋಳಿ ಅಂತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕುಂದಾಪುರ ಕಡೆ ಉಪ್ಕೋಳಿ ಹಾ ಬೇರೆ ಏನೋ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಕುಂದಾಪುರ ಕಡೆ ಅದು ಫೈಟರ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೌದು ಸೊ ಅದು ಯಾವ ಫೈಟರ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಸೋತ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಮಾಡೋದು ಅದರದ್ದು ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೆಡಿ ಇರೋ ತಕ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ So there's a tradition in South Canada they have these matches between roosters ala and the rooster that loses adradu upkoli martare and that is what is preparing here but he is of course preparing with a local nati koli and idralli jaasti hogala pepper salt green chilli light ag aaktive light aaktira matte shunti bellulli paste adin charma ba adradu ha sir the fat tara ide almost ha dappa irutha adu idu eshtu time agide idu cook aaglike aithu nandu 15 minutes ready aithu 15 minutes ready aithu ನಿಮ್ದು ಮಸಾಲೆ ಫುಲ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಲೈಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಏನೋ ಕಲರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಏನೋ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಿ ಇದು ಇನ್ನು ಬ್ಯಾಡಿ ಮೆಣಸಿನ ಕಾಯಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಗುಂಡೂರ್ ಮೆಣಸಿನ ಕಾಯಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಅದು 75% ಇದು 25% 25% ಬ್ಯಾಡಿ ಗೆ 25% ಗುಂಡೂರ್ ಸೋ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಬೇಕು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೌದು which is the reason why it is not crimson red ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆರೆಂಜಿಶ್ ರೆಡ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇದೆ ಸೋ ಏನೇನು ಇದೆ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಇದೆ ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಇದೆ ಬೆಳ್ಳುಳ್ಳಿ ಬೆಳ್ಳುಳ್ಳಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಧನಿಯಾ ಧನಿಯಾ ಕೊರಿಯಾಂಡರ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಜೀರಾ ಏಜ್ ಏನು ಈಗ ಏಜ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತರ್
ಸೊ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಇಂದ ಸೊ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಅದು ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಯ್ತು ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಂಗಡೆ ಮಸಾಲ ಬೆಳ್ಳುಳ್ಳಿ ಮೆಂತೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮೆಂತೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರ ಮಸಾಲೆ ರೂಪವಾಗ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇದು ಬಹಳ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇದೆ ಐ ಲವ್ ದ ಕಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಯಾರು ಫಿಶ್ ಯಾರು ತರೋದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಆ ತರ ನಿಮ್ದು ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾರು ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ದು ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಸಹ ಮನೆ ಕುಂದಾಪುರ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಹೇಗೆ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ದಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಟ ಪಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೆಡಿ ದಟ್ ಬಂಗುಡೆ ಫ್ರೈ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಭುವನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯಿತು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯಿತು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನೇಪಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಐ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಟು ಮಿನ್ ಹಿಂದಿ ಬಟ್ ಭುವನ್ ಸರ್ ನನಗೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಭುವನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೆಡಿ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾನ್ ಇದು ಪ್ರಾನ್ ಸಿಗಡಿ ಏನು ಸಿ ಪ್ರಾನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಪ್ರಾನ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೋನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಬಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವುದು ಹಾಂ ಸೊ ಇದು ಏನು ಇದು ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಔಟ್ ಯೂ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೀ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ತವಾ ಫ್ರೈಗೆ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಐ ಲವ್ ದಿ ಅರೋಮಾ ದಟ್ ಸೆಮಿನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದು ಇದೆ ಬೆಳ್ಳುಳ್ಳಿ ಇದೆ ಬೆಳ್ಳುಳ್ಳಿ ಹಾ ಇದಾಗ್ತದೆ ಧನಿಯಾ ಧನಿಯಾ ಜೀರಾ ಜೀರಾ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಒಂದು ಹಳದಿ ಪೌಡರ್ ಹಳದಿ ಪೌಡರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಕೋಕನಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೋಕನಟ್ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಅದೇನಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಬಾಯಿಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಒಂದರು ಬಾಯಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಕೋತೀವಿ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಉಪ್ಪು ಹಳದಿ ಪೌಡರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೈನಿ ಬಟ್ ಯು ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ಸೀ ಫುಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಮೀನು ಯೋಗವಲ್ ಸಹ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಇರುವಾಗ ಪರಿಮಳ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದರದ್ದು ವಾಸನೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಪರಿಮಳ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರೋಮಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಕರಾವಲಿ ಲಂಚ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಇನ್ ಮಲೇಶ್ವರಂ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ದಿ ಅರೋಮಾ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮಸಾಲ ಪರ್ಮಿಯೇಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ದಿ ಅರೋಮಾ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಕರಿ ವಾಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೀಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ it's got my palate going i can't wait to get to the table and taste some of the special dishes here that ravi and chandrashekar here have prepared this afternoon ayi gotagutte ninge masale ready ide fine thank you ah oh inusa dappa ide ha resha mutteve adar aagbeku iga sölpa gari gari bartta ide kayalli ah taste maadboda idu ಇದು ನನ್ಗೆ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದೊಂದು ನೋಡಿ ಬಾಯಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಮಸಾಲ ಫ್ರೈ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಮಸಾಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಮಸಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಸಾಲೆ <laughs> ಓ ಫಿಶ್ ಕರಿ ಆಯ್ದು ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಇವತ್ತು 
ಮತ್ತಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಂಗಡೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ನಿಮ್ದು ಫಿಶ್ ಮಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಫಿಶ್ ಮಿಲ್ ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಲಂಚ್ ಗೆ ಬರೀ ಲಂಚ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಖಾಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ಎನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಅಮ್ನಿ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಕರಾವಲಿ ಲಂಚ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ನಾವು ಪಿಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾಳೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾಡ್ದು ಆತರ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ದು ಅದು ಫಿಶ್ ಮಸಾಲ ಫ್ರೈ ಅದು ನೋಡಿ ನನಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಒಂದು ನೀರು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬಾಯಿಂದ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಅದು ಕೊಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಒಂದು ಫಿಶ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಫಿಶ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಅದು ಫಿಶ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಮತ್ತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದು ಬಂಗಡೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದು ಮತ್ತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಅದು ಪ್ರಾನ್ ಹುಡಿ ಕುರಿತದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಬಾಬ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಒಂದು ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಬೊಂಡಸ್ ಬೊಂಡಸ್ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಕೊಡಿ ಒಂದು ಅಂಜಲ್ ತವಾ ಫ್ರೈ ಕೊಡಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ನಿಮ್ದು ಅಲಾಟಿ ಕೊಡಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಸುಕ್ಕ ನೀರು ದೋಸೆ ಸೂಪರ್ ಡನ್ ಇದು ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಟೈನಿ ದರ್ಸ್ ಡೇರ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಯೋ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೆಕೋರ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಂಬಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಎರೋಮಾಸ್ ದಟ್ permeate out of the kitchen the energy the vibe that greets you out here definitely suggests that this is going to be a meal that i will remember for some time to come and also i think there is an integrity in the manner in which ravi and his team out here cook the food right from procuring the freshest of ingredients uh, to the masala that's made on a daily basis and i think also the friendly manner in which they serve you in which they greet you i think all that adds to the appeal of karavli lunch home so although it's a tiny little hole in the wall quite literally it has a reputation that's much bigger than the physical space that it occupies Well, uh, we've got all the dishes that we ordered here at uh, Karavli Lunch Home. I, of course, have my uh, fish thali. So, this is basically the sardine or the bhutai as we call it in Mangaluru. And there's some, of course, some boiled rice. And you also get along with it a chutney, shrimp chutney with some coconut. So, we've got this bangude masala fry that I saw being made there. And as I watched it being cooked, I knew this was something that I wanted to taste. Staying with the fish, we also have a kadak. fried slice of the anjal and then some prawn fry some bondas that is the squid in a sukka style masala and the combination with that is some neer dosa this is the upkoli which is basically the country chicken that we spoke about in the kitchen i think we're going to make a beginning with some of that fried prawns mm. there's a crunch of that masala of that batter of course but that doesn't take away in the least the flavor of the prawn i'm tasting the sweetness of the prawn and the seasoning like they say that uppu kara is just perfect i love that slight saline sweetness of that prawn mm. i think we've already hit gold with the first dish that i placed in my mouth here so much so i want to go for one more piece of that prawn also the masala that they do here for the tawa etc is a sort that's not too burdened with too many things so therefore the flavors to other sort that are rather light rather mellow there's a bit of the heat that i'm now tasting now that my palate is accustomed to the flavor of the prawn a bit of the heat that comes from the chilies and here they do a combination of the guntur and the byadgi the batter is just right neither is it too much nor is it too less it just conveys a bit of that crunch and does well to hold carry within its folds the sweet saline flavor of the prawn delicious
I think before we move on to the rest of the seafood, I think we should taste some of that. Uppu koli. Uppu koli is basically salt and chicken. That's what it literally means. I want to get a piece with some of the skin as well. That's where all the flavor is. This is a piece of meat that requires you to work on it to break it down. Mm. Of course, the names is Uppu Koli, and therefore its salty character is certainly a little pronounced. But I can taste quickly after that the flavor of that pepper. So much anage the flavor. Is generally you have to take it in there, though. Starter, starter, ah. Is it green? Is it? Pudding. Paste. Ah. Black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. When you taste it first, the salt does startle you a bit, but then that spiciness of that chili, ginger, garlic paste, plenty of pepper takes over. So I was told that this is also the sort of dish that makes for a starter, and I think this is also the sort of dish that will do very well with some evening beverages, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Andre do saengala chandu kutkondo. ಅದ್ರೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ <laughs> 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 I've just tasted two dishes so far. Ando do prawn fry, amele idu upu koli. Both the dishes are the sort that I've hit home in the flavor department. Of course, because it's country chicken, you'll have to work on it a bit. Make sure you extract some of the meat, some of the skin, and there's also plenty of fat in that skin. And these are not your broilers, but these are birds that are quite larger. So they about 3 and a half 4 kilos and therefore the tissue and the muscle is also well built and so also the fat. So if you want the flavor you got to taste both the meat and the fat in that country chicken. Mm. You can almost crunch into the texture of the skin of the fat in that uppu koli. I think the neer dosa the tellao also serves to tone down a bit of the spicy punch of the gravy. So although it's made with the coconut milk there's plenty of heat still and I think that's because of the pepper that serves to lengthen the hit of the spice. Mm. So good. Mm. So it's just when they boil the chicken first they boil it with more ghee. I think since we have the neer dosa already with us let's taste the squid sukta. ಇದು ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ನೀವು ಫೈನ್ ಗ್ರೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ರೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕುರ್ದು ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಬೈಟ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಟು ಲೆಂಡನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಸಾಲಾ ದಟ್ ಯು ಟೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶಿ ಕ್ರಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಸೋಕ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ದಟ್ ಮಸಾಲಾ ರಾದ ವೆಲ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಸೋ ಗುಡ್ I can also taste a bit of the tartness that comes from some tamarind in that the flavor of some curry leaf I'm enjoying everything that I'm placing in my mouth you know chicken sukka so he said well taste some chicken sukka to one piece at you ah uh, thank you mm neer dosa ke squid sukka mate prawn sukka and even the uppu koli chana combination sir so he says the uppu koli is made only on the weekend saturday sunday but if they have an order they make it during the weekend i suspect that's what's happened today as well and therefore although we arrived here on a wednesday we've lucked out with that uppu koli that bondas is fresh another neer dosa this time to go with that koli sukka ಇದು ಕಲರ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಬೇರೆ ಇದೆ ಬಂಡಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದ್ರದು 
And now to go for some of that curry, the fish curry with some boiled rice. While of course I was enjoying the uppu koli, the bonda sukka, and also the chicken sukka and the prawn, the curry had uh, cooled down a bit, so I requested them for some hot curry, some hot gravy, and that's also something that you can do out here. So as you are enjoying your mean uta, you can also request them for some bisi bisi saru. Get one of the sardines onto my plate as well. There's something to touching, bisi anna, bisi saru. Mm. I can taste the flavor of the bangude and the sardine that this curry has been cooked in. I can also taste a bit of the kadak character of perhaps some of the fenugreek seeds in that. Mm. That fish has soaked up the flavor of that masala or that curry rather well. It's a sort of fish that is a complement in this fish meal. So I think this meal with the sardines about 150 rupees. If you have with the bangude, it's about 180 rupees. And uh, it's a sort of fish that serves that purpose really well. And I guess it's also the sort of fish that can cook for a while in that curry. Mm. There's a bit of the sourness of the hunse hanno too that I'm tasting in this. This is a masala that borders a bit on the kadak. You are tasting so much the kai, the flavor of the coconut. You are tasting more the flavor of the masala. A little bit of the spice, a little bit of the coriander, the jirige. And certainly that mente, the fenugreek seeds. The texture of the butai or the sardine is such that it's rather soft. A bit mushy. Very unlike. Let's say the character of that anjal, that anjal tawa fry. Mm. I can taste the flavor of that coconut oil that that anjal has been fried in. The flesh is thick, flaky, and the masala is just enough to flavor that fish. Mm. And some betcha saru, some hot gravy. Great combination. Although I tasted the masala in its raw form and I could definitely feel the potent heat of the guntur chili in that. But out here the masala when slathered on the fish and when fried in that coconut oil, the chili is in that are somehow balanced by the other ingredients that have gone into it. So you're not really tasting too much that spicy punch of that guntur that I was expecting to taste. Mm. And if you want some spice, I think that's where the dried prawns with some coconut will come into play. You can certainly feel the full-on spicy assault of that guntur chili in that. So if you like things a little spicy, definitely reach for some of that prawn chutney. As for me, I think I'm going to reach for that bangude. Mm. That's a masala that feels rather kadak. The plenty of the sourness of the hunse annu, the tamarind that I'm tasting in that as well. I can definitely taste the potency of the chilies. In the regular fish fry, they basically boil the chilies and then they crush it. So I think that also tones down to a certain extent 
the pungency, the heat of the chilli. But out here for that masala fry, they roast the chilli on oil and then they grind it along with the other ingredients that go into it. And I think that certainly makes that a lot spicier, a lot more punchier, a lot more robust in its flavours as opposed to the regular tawa fry. Mm. If you like your fish a little spicy, I think my vote goes to that masala fry, that bangude masala fry. And I think the bangude, the mackerel, is also the sort of fish that can easily carry that masala because it has its own strong flavour and character. It's been a while since I've eaten some good Kudlada Uta. So therefore, why not? Some of the saru and perhaps this time some of that squid sukka. And while I'm at it, also perhaps a prawn. You know, that's the wonderful thing about a meal like this. So your base of course is the fish curry and rice and then you order one of the sides like in this case of course we've done more than one side but you combine it with your curry and rice makes for delicious variations in the flavors that you're tasting some onions just to serve as a pungent palate cleanser So good. I love the sweetness of that prawn. When I set out for Karavni lunch home, I knew that this place was popular amongst its regulars. But to be honest, I didn't expect to be blown away by the food. But out here, almost all the dishes that I've tasted are the sort that will certainly have me coming back for more. I think the surprising find here was at Upukoli. We of course lucked out and uh, it was prepared today for a special order. So we also got to taste that. I think that's a find that perhaps very few people in Bengaluru would have tasted. So if you want to taste that, you've got to come here on a weekend or probably call ahead and check if they've made some. And also the other dishes too were the sort that definitely made impact. That prawn fry where you could taste the sweetness of the prawn. The sukkas, whether it was a bandas or that chicken sukka or that fry, that tawa fry anjal was a bit mild, was a bit mellow, but when it came to something really kadak and ferocious in its spicy hit, well, that's where that masala fry, that bangude masala fry did its job. The fish curry and rice are the sort that provide for a pleasant base to your meal here, but it's these sides, be it the sukka or that masala fry, that are definitely the stars here at Karavni lunch home. So if you want to taste some kudlada flavor, some kudlada taste in a setting that's quite unpretentious, definitely find your way to Karavli lunch home here in Maleshwaram. But be warned, it's a tiny place, so there may be a bit of a wait involved. If you don't want to wait, well, I guess you can always order the food from here. I hope you've enjoyed this Mangaluru Uta episode here in Bengaluru. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!